This is an explanation and demonstration of our great new feature we've added to Talk Tablet called Switch Scanning, which is a common way of accessing a speech device like an iPad here in this example, or you can use this on your iPod or iPhone. It's built into all of our software. For those that are using a switch or aren't able to use a touchscreen except as a simple switch, just to touch the whole thing, they can't hit a specific button. Okay, let me give you an example. To start my scanning, I go into Settings, and I can turn on my scanning and I'm going to give you an example of single switch scanning both as step scanning and as row column scanning. So we'll keep it simple. We'll start with just turned it on. We're going to, going to use the touch screen as my switch. Number of switches is one. I go back to my main page and there we have it. It's going from one button to the next and I can touch anywhere on the screen acts as my switch. So if I wanted to hit yes, I just touch my screen yes. anywhere and I can make my selection. If I wanted to clear it, I would just touch anywhere on the screen and make my selection. Okay, that is single switch step scanning. So the user simply touches anywhere on the screen when it's on the item that they want that's been highlighted. Let's go back into settings. One switch, let's turn on roll column. And this is a very common way people have seen um, switch scanning access over the years. And so it goes down one row after the other, and then it highlights the message bar, then it continues through. So if I wanted to go into About Me, I wait until I, that first row is highlighted, and I touch anywhere on the screen, and now it will go across the row. By the way, I can change the speed of this. The, the speed right now, I think it's set at 1.5 seconds per button, but I can change it to whatever I want. And I'll wait till it gets to about me, hit anywhere on the screen. About me. And that opens up, starts with the message bar, comes all the way through. Age. And if I wanted to speak the message bar, I simply wait till it's highlighted. About me, age. Now, one thing I'll mention too while this is going through here is it'll go through these rows three times and then it will automatically go back to the main page. And you can reset that to a lower number, higher number, but. Watch what happens. This is the second time through, and the third time through, there we go, it's gone back to the main page. And that way it helps a user who may be stuck on an underlying page, or this way you don't have to always have a main page or a go back button or a back page button or a home button. You can just let it loop through. Okay, so that was using the whole screen as a single switch, both in individual step scanning and as we're looking at here in row column scanning. Let me switch this now over to two switch scanning. And I'll take roll column off to start. This will, be, this will be step scanning using two switches. Now, invisibly, there's a line down the middle of the screen. Whether it's a landscape or portrait, this works again on iPads or iPods or iPhones, doesn't matter. My left side is my scan side. So I'm doing step scanning using the left side of my page to advance my scanning. I use my right side of my page to choose my selection. So I don't have to hit it, just anywhere on the right side. No. Okay, so left side is scan, right side is select. In my home. Grooming. Does that make sense? So as I go along here, if I want here, I just hit anywhere on the left side. I want to say my message bar. The, all the items during my message bar, I will simply wait until the message bar is highlighted or I can advance my scan and then select. In my home grooming hairspray. Okay, now that was two switch scanning, step scanning. Let me put it on roll column now. Come into my here, I have two switches, let's turn on roll column, go back here. Okay, each time I hit the left side of the screen, watch what happens. It's going to keep going down. Left side scan, right side select. Left side scan, right side select. Does that make sense? So that's all there is to it. If I wanted to speak what's on the message bar, I simply... In my home grooming hairspray towel, get dressed. So when you're using two switches, you're not using the automatic timer function. You you manually move it from button to button just by touching on the left side of the screen. Now, keep in mind too, if you want a thicker highlight around each one of these rows, simply change the border on this page to make the border a higher number. Right now, I think it's on eight, but if you move that to 10, you'd see your highlight was significantly bigger. Um, also too, as you noticed, 
it will scan through three times and then it comes back to the main page. But of course, you can change that. And that's what this number of repeats button or choice means on the uh, scanning settings page. So there you have it, it's very simple. If you're scanning on and off, whether you're using the touch screen as your switch or you're going to be using a one or two switch um, third party type switches, you can use that as well with an interface. That's easy to use. But if you don't have those, you can simply use your touch screen as your switch. Uh, one or two switches, roll column, there's your speed of your scanning. You can speed it up or slow it down, whatever you like to do. And number of repeats has to do with how many times it will go through a row before it automatically pops back out to the main page again. And there you have switch scanning in Talk Tablet.